So, hello everybody, what is going on dudes, it is Kiba Shimaki here, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Yellow. Last time, well, we went ahead and took care of the Rocket Hideout, where we fought Team Rocket and their boss, Giovanni. We also got ourselves the Silscope, which apparently allows us to see ghosts. So, this time, we shall be, um... Tending to one of my favorite towns. You can hit the take the hint of sarcasm. Um, I wanted to sell a couple items. I believe I taught Typhoon, um, Seismic Toss. There we go. And then I also believe I taught no, I believe I taught um, Smog Body Slam since Smog needed a better move, really. Um, but yeah, we are now in Lavender Town and. There's the eerie music. Just like that, without further ado, we have the Pokemon Tower to take on. And of course, with taking on the Pokemon Tower, we have a certain somebody waiting for us inside. So um, I'm gonna be moving my party around a bit. I'm actually gonna have Tesla up front, and I normally wouldn't, but we're gonna have to start this off with Tesla because we enter the Pokemon Tower, we see everything is in a sort of a shady gloom. Let's see what this channeler has to say. I am a channeler. There are spirits up to mischief. Well, thank goodness we have the silk scope to see any ghosts up to mischief. Um, we don't have to worry about Pokemon on this level. On this level, so don't worry about that. But what you're gonna want to do is save here before we go ahead and we maneuver around our rival. See what he has to say. Hey, Isaac. What brings you here? Your Pokemon don't look dead. I can at least make them faint. Let's go, pal! And we take on our rival Blue. Now, at this point, his team will have a specific um, outlook. Depending on which uh, Pokemon he sends out, will reflect which starter, which evolution his starter will become. But he always starts off with a Fero, level 25, normal flying type, with the moves Mirror Move, Growl, Leer, and Fury Attack. This thing is still quite a formidable foe, very aggressive, very fast. Um, but we have Tesla up front at level 31 with a Thunderbolt, and it goes down just like that. Now here's where his team varies. Next up is Shelter, and we sing Lotus out for this. Shelter is level 23, pure water type with the boost Tackle, Withdraw, Supersonic, and Clamp. Shelter is quite unique because it is the only Pokemon during this generation, they can learn the move Clamp. Eventually, Clamp Pearl is introduced and learns that move as well. However, we take it, we take it down to one hit. Since Razor Leaf has a high critical hit ratio, we went ahead and hit it just like that. Next up is his Vulpix. Uh, we're gonna send out. We're gonna send out Wukong for this. Wukong can handle this. Vulpix is level 22, pure fire type with the moves Ember, Tail Whip, Quick Attack, and Roar. The main point of this um, Pokemon is really just to get some damage and to send your Pokemon out of the battle. So, this Wobbix can get quite annoying. Luckily, Wukong is armed with Rock Slide, so we take it out in one hit. Now, up next is Sandshrew. Kinda wanna swap back to Lotus, just so that way for the type advantage, but Sandshrew is level 20, pure ground type, with the moves Scratch, Sand Attack, and Slash. Now, this team is unique only if his EV is evolving into a Jolteon. If his team was evolving into a Flareon, he would have a Fero, a Sound Shrew, a Shelter, his Starter, and a Magnemite instead. Magnemite being level 23, a pure electric type with the most tackled and sonic boo. If it was becoming a Vaporeon, he would have his Fero, a Sand Shrew, a Vulpix, his Starter, and a an Magnemite. There is only one Pokemon variant between all of them, the main three all being the same. He's either going to have a Shelter and a Vulpix, a Magnemite and a Shelter, or a Vulpix and a Magnemite. All depends on which evolution he's evolving his starter to. But, with all that info out of the way, let's go ahead and let's just get rid of this Sandshrew and bring out his final Pokemon. Here we go, critical hit down to one hit. And Lotus hit level 31, which is awesome. And all that's left is a starter, Eevee. Eevee is level 25, pure normal type, with the moves Quick Attack, Tail Whip, 
and attack, and growl. Still has fairly the same moveset, nothing new, nothing special. Um, well, all his moves are all practically the same across the whole board, so there's nothing new and nothing really to worry about. There's a bunch of trainers um, within to Pokemon Tower, so be forewarned if you're going after items. I took it easy on you. Yeah, sure you did. How's your Pokemon... How's your Pokedex coming, pal? I just caught a Cubone. I can't find the grown-up Marowak yet. I doubt there are any left. Well, I better get going. I've got a lot to accomplish, pal. Smell you later. And just like that, Gary is gone. Since he's got nothing better to do. And the eerie music creeps on us once again. Go ahead and let's put Wukong up front. And we have quite the dungeon to take on. Wukong, being a pure fighting type and not having many moves to counteract ghost types, this is going to be one hell of a time. We see this channeler. What do they have to say? Even we could not identify the wayward ghosts. A silphscope might be able to unmask them. That's your little cue for why we went ahead and took on the rocket hideout before coming here. You could have taken on Blue first, and then heard that, and then decided to come back, but that was all up to you. But now, with the super repel, with the super repel on, and the silk scope in tow, let's go ahead and let's make way through here and try to avoid any battles that we can while take, grabbing any items that we can. On that first floor, there is an item up north. I'll probably get it on my way back. Unless I transport it out, in which the item we skipped was just an escape rope. So, nothing really all that advantageous or useful. Let's go and let's go, and we have our first battle with the channeler. Be cursed with me! I'd rather not. But, um, anywho, I normally would skip these battles, however, all of these channel channelers are the same. They all have Ghastlies in their team, since that is the only ghost type. And uh, their main focus really is to just annoy the crap out of you with their ghastlings. They're all haunted or cursed or whatever, so battling them and defeating them is sort of like a way to purify them, I guess, in some sort. Uh, he's got another ghastly, let's just take it on. This is probably like the only battle I will not be skipping, just so that way you guys can see um, what kind of Pokemon. It's literally just ghastlies, I think one or two of them probably has a haunter in place of like no ghastlies. But it's only slightly stronger. Um, Ghastlies and Haunters are the main premise in this area. You can also catch yourself a Cubone, but that is a very low, low chance. So, up to you if you want to try and grind out for one. Um, I probably won't be, even though I love, love Ghastly so much. Ghastly is literally my favorite Pokemon, like ever. And seeing as it had a Mega Evolution, that was pretty awesome to me. Um, but now we can go ahead and wrap around and try to make way without battling any other trainers. Let's see anybody else? Nope, doesn't seem so. So let's go ahead and let's get on out. Next up, we have this area, and I do believe there is, yeah, at least one battle. But there's also this little spot. Let's see what they have to say. Come, child. I sealed this space with the white magic. You can rest here. We enter. We enter the purified protected zone, and our Pokemon became fully healed. So, we have a free heal zone, which is awesome. But with that, let's take on this trainer just so that we can get on by. Give me... Soul. There we go. They're pretty easy to take care of. They're not that much of a problem. Let's go ahead and let's swap Tesla up front now. And, um, yeah. Um, Lotus is pretty close to a level up, which is really sick. Let's keep on moving. We have another battle that we're forced to take on, so let's take care of him. Kick, 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 kick. That's creepy. I don't know what that was, but alright, sure, their, their spirit was freed, I don't know, whatever, let's go and let's check here, we have another channeler, <laughs> 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 
something fell out. Okay, it's a little strange. Check here, we get ourselves another rare candy, which is awesome. There's plenty of items that I probably skipped over, um, but really, they were just elixirs, awakenings, HP ups, a nugget, an X accuracy, and a rare candy. So, I didn't miss out on much, however, you're gonna want to be prepared. Make sure you have the scope before coming here, because the instant we step up to the staircase, be gone. Intruders. We have a forced encounter. If you did not have the silk scope before arriving, you would constantly encounter the ghost, and you would not be able to attack it. You are forced to flee. However, since we have the silk scope, we are able to unveil the ghost's true identity and see that it is the spirit of a Marowak. Now, I do not know if this Marowak is catchable, but it does evolve from a Q-Bone, so if you want to go ahead and try and catch it, go for it. However, I won't be worrying about it. Marowak is a pure ground type, such as Q-Bone is as well. And, um, well, there ain't much else for us to do except just help the Marowak and lay its soul to rest. There we go. The ghost was the restless soul of Cubone's mother. The mother's soul was calm. It departed to the afterlife. That's quite sad and quite gruesome, but we had to do it. We had to lay its soul to rest. Now, we're at the top floor. And, um, well, we have quite impeccable timing, don't we? Stop right there! Grandpa here wanted to complain, so we're, so we're setting him straight. So render yourself invisible, or prepare to fight. And we have ourselves immediately another battle with Team Rocket. They start off with a Meowth, level 27, pure normal type, with the moves Bite, Growl, Screech, and Payday. Now, uh, Meowth isn't that much of a struggle. We took on Team Rocket again last video, and we're taking them on again. Um, Screech, that's quite painful, lowering our defense a lot, but hopefully we just take care and take care of Team Rocket and not take too much damage. Next up is Arbok. I'm gonna swap over to Smog, and Smog can dig. But Arbok is the evolved form of Ekans. It is level 27, pure poison type, with the Bite, Leer, Poison Sting, and Glare. We have Dig on Smog's Arsenal, so we can go ahead and avoid any damage. And just pelt it very hard, very quickly. And boom! Almost down to one hit, you've got to be kidding me. Okay. Smog's good, critical, of course. Let's just go ahead and hit it with a Body Slam, and that'll take care of it. Down just like that. And all that's left is their Weezing. Let's go ahead and send out Bite. Weezing is level 27, a pure poison type. The moves Tackle, Smog, and Sludge. It learned one move from evolving, so quite interesting. But, like I said again, always be wary of Smog since it can poison, and just like that, it did. However, with Bite, luckily we have Side Beam, so we can do pretty extensive amounts of damage. Not a whole lot, but a pretty extensive amount. Let's go and let's just use another Side Beam and hope that we can take down this next hit. Let's see. No cigar just yet. Let's go ahead and I guess just eat out the try attack. My brain sort of paused right there. Let's go ahead and hit it with a try attack. And there we go. Down goes Weezing, just like that. There we go, bike gained a big chunk of experience, but that handles that. You will regret this. There we go. And just like that, looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again! And they're gone just like that. We head up here, we see Mr. Fuji. Eh, you came to save me? Thank you, but I came here of my own free will. I came to calm the soul of Cubone's mother. I think Marowak's spirit has gone to the afterlife. I must thank you. For your kind concern, follow me to my home, Pokemon House, at the foot of this tower. Just like that, we instant transmission out, and we see Mr. Fuji. Isaac, your Pokedex quest may fail without love for your, Poke for your Pokemon. 
I think this may help you on your course. We get ourselves the Poke Flute. Upon hearing the Poke Flute, sleeping Pokemon will spring awake. It works on all sleeping Pokemon. Well, we've heard of a ginormous sleeping Pokemon that stands in our way. And who else, or where else to go and test out the Poke Flute than that sleeping Pokemon? But, we will do that in the next video. Now, this is going to be a lot, because we're going to be going two different routes to get to the next town before we officially take the town on. So, yeah, I hope you all do enjoy this. Um, I'm going to be running through um, the tower again, just to make sure I get every item and take care of every trainer. But, yeah, that pretty much wraps up this part. I hope you all did enjoy. If you did, please show me some love and support by hitting that like button. Comment down below what you all enjoyed or would love to see. Share with anybody and everybody that you think might enjoy this type of gameplay or commentary. And subscribe if you're out all new. But that's pretty much it. Thank you guys all so much for watching. And I will see you here next time where we head off to Fuchsia City. Thank you guys once again. And I will see all you dudes next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace out, everybody.